welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin, and this is a first for me. I've not done one of these, but I've been showing this blanket, which is a blanket I've been making for a Boggy Creek donation, and it is an idea that I got from Kim at Kim's Crochet and Knits. She made a baby blanket for her soon-to-be grandchild in this design, and I really liked it, so I wanted to give it a go myself. And um, Lit Knits Linda asked if I would be willing to do a quick tutorial on this stitch. So, um, I didn't know what this stitch was called, and I was watching Heather the Crochet Witch, and she was saying she was making a blanket to donate to a pet shelter, and she was using the lemon peel stitch. And I was like, wait a second, am I using the lemon peel stitch? I am not. <laughs> I am using the Suzette stitch. But apparently they are, they are very similar and they are often confused for each other. And the fact that I had to look it up seemed to be surprising to none of the Google results. So what is the Suzette stitch? The Suzette stitch is a, uh, it's a stitch <laughs> that you crochet. Um, what you do is you make your chain. You're going to want your chain to be an even number and you're going to single crochet. Okay. So now for this blanket, what I did was I crocheted my even number chain in the second chain from the hook. I did a half double crochet and then in the next stitch, you do a, or did I skip a stitch? Let me see. I skipped a stitch, skipped a stitch. And in the next stitch, I did a single crochet and a double crochet. You skip a stitch, single crochet, double crochet, skip a stitch, single crochet, double crochet. And both of them go in the same stitch and you are, but you're skipping a stitch in between. The difference between the Suzette stitch, what I just described and the lemon peel stitch is you do not skip a stitch in the lemon peel. You would do single crochet, uh, chain one, single crochet. In the next chain, you do a double crochet. You do a single crochet, a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. When you turn your work, you flip that around. So in your previous double crochets, you'd be doing single crochets. And in your previous single crochets, you would be doing double crochets. It has a similar effect. Um, it's probably just what you want. Uh, this, I think because I'm using a three weight yarn and a smaller hook, I'm using a five millimeter hook. I'm not getting a lot of holes where I'm skipping my stitches. Um, but that would be one I, one main reason I can think of as to why you would prefer the lemon peel to the Suzette if you don't want the possibility of that hole. Okay, so anyway, here is where I'm at. This is just, I picked up the blanket and that's where my progress keeper was. Okay, so am I close enough? Can I get closer? What's gonna happen? Oh, that's okay. That's as close as I can get with the camera zoom. Okay, so you can see I've got a stitch here, which is the double crochet from a previous row. I'm going to skip that and I'm going to go in the single crochet from the previous row. I'm going to go in, stick my hook in, pick up a loop, pull it through, do my single crochet. Then I'm going to yarn over in that same stitch, in that same chain, in that same place. I'm going to put a double crochet. There you go. So we're ready to do our next one. We've got the double crochet from the previous row and the single crochet. We're going to skip the double crochet. We're going to straight into the single crochet. Y hook in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. Now we're going to do our double crochet in that exact same spot. We're going to yarn over. We're going to put our hook through. We're going to hook it, pull through a loop. So now we've got three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. We've made our double crochet. We're going to just keep on keeping on and keep doing that down. So skip one in the next one, single crochet, double crochet. 
and we're going to skip one in the next one. Same stitch, we're putting both a single crochet and a double crochet. And now again, to differentiate this from the lemon peel stitch, if we were doing the lemon peel stitch here, we would do a single crochet, and then in the next stitch we would do our double crochet. But we're not doing that. So I'm going to rip that out. We're doing Suzette! We're Suzetting it up here. So, we're going to do a single crochet. In that same stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. What? We're skipping. In the next stitch, we're doing a single crochet and a double crochet. And ooh, we have a color change happening in the yarn. Isn't it pretty? Single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. Okay, so you're going to get to the end here. And you're going to have a double crochet, a single crochet, and your last half double, which would have been your first half double on the previous row. So you're going to notice it's not going to, your, your count isn't quite going to work right and you're going to get a little frustrated. This is where I'm fudging it. I'm fudging it here. Okay, so you're going to do your second to last one here in your single crochet from the previous round. You're going to skip one. You're going to do your last Suzette stitch right here in the second to last stitch on your row. So you're going to go single crochet, double crochet here. You are, in your last stitch, you want to do your half double crochet. So you always start the round for this blanket. Start the round with a half double, end the round with a half double. However, I found, I had to rip this out a couple of times before I figured out what was happening. You do not want to put your final half double in the top of the half double stitch. Don't do it. Use your turning chain. I know it's it's hurting your soul. It's breaking what you think you should be doing. But skip that stitch. Put your last half double in that turning chain. You're going to chain one, turn your work, and then you can do your half double in the first stitch for the next round. But if I was putting, when I was putting it in the actual stitch itself, it was, the blanket was, was tilting in. It didn't look, I didn't get a nice straight edge. I was only able to get the straight edge here by putting it in the turning chain. And I'm not having, see, let's get this other end. See, you keep this nice here. I, I messed up. So you can see there's a little bloop in, but I corrected it there and I that's going to get disguised when I put the border on. That's totally cool. But yeah, you get a nice straight edge by putting the last, put your final half double of the round in the chain, the turning chain. Don't put it where you think the stitch should be. Unless there was something wrong with my tension and you can make it work. I I was getting a tilty. It wasn't coming out nice. I was sad. But by putting it in the turning chain, I think it pulled it nicely out. And I'm getting a nice edge. That's my little tip on that. So, I'll do this a couple more times. Um, so you can see what, you, what I'm doing. Uh, so single crochet, double crochet in the same stitch. Single crochet double crochet in the same stitch. And like I said, I did not come up with this pattern. This is what I learned from Kim at Kim's Crochet and Knits. She had a video. She put an infograph up. Where's my phone? Here it is next to me. She, um, of what she did and I took a screenshot of that and that is what I'm working from. So, oh, where's my screenshot? Okay, so here's literally, it's a video entitled Finish Two Crochet Blankets and Two Crocheted Baby Teethers. And this is literally, 
Are you going to focus on it? That's literally the screenshot where I got the pattern from. It says, used five millimeter hook, chain multiples of two, half double crochet in first and last stitch always, then skip one stitch, SC and DC in same stitch, repeat till end, end turn, chain one, fan stitch border. So, <laughs> that's, I took it and I'm running with it. And it made a lovely baby blanket for Kim. And I am totally, I'm going for it. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I don't know where to go from here. I've never done a stitch tutorial. Is this what you do in a stitch tutorial? <laughs> I think so. So we'll go through it one last time here. Let me finish this because I picked it up and started doing it without narrating. Let me pull some more yarn out. Okay. So I'm ready to do my next. I'm going to skip my skip one stitch, which was the double crochet from the previous round into the next stitch, which is the single crochet from the previous round. I'm going to put both a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip one, next stitch, single crochet, double crochet. How you can, how I found that I can check myself on this pattern is to make sure I'm always working in the single crochet from the previous round. Single crochet, double crochet, skip one. In the next stitch, single crochet, double, oh no, no, you stay there, double crochet. Single crochet, double crochet. Skip one, next stitch, which is the single crochet from the previous round. And it goes a single crochet, and then in the same stitch, the same single crochet, goes a double crochet. Skip one, next one. Single crochet, double crochet. Skip one, next stitch. Single crochet, double crochet. Come on, let's do this. There we go, we got this. Skip one, next stitch. Single crochet, double crochet in the same stitch. I need some more yarn. Ooh, we're, we're bringing in the taupe. Skip a stitch in the next stitch. Single crochet, double crochet. Single crochet, double crochet. I forgot to say skip a stitch. Okay, skip the next stitch in the stitch following in the next stitch. Put both a single crochet and a double crochet. Awesome, so here you're gonna skip your next stitch. In the stitch after that, single crochet and double crochet, both in the same stitch. Skip in the one after that, single crochet, double crochet. So you're preserving your stitch count because you're skipping a stitch, but in the next stitch, you're putting two, so you're bringing that stitch back up. Single crochet, double crochet. Okay, we are gonna get to the end here. And we're gonna go skip this, go into the next stitch, which is the second to last stitch on our row. We're gonna do single crochet, we're gonna do a double crochet. Now, remember, this is where I said I was having issues. If I did my last half double in the stitch itself, I was having problems. But if I do my half double in the turning chain, it works out just fine. So we're going to do a color change here though. So this is probably a good point. So for the half double, we yarn over, we're going to stick our hook in to the turning chain. At this point, I like to pull up a loop. So now we've got three loops of the last color on. So I'm going to drop the previous color. I'm going to bring up my solid gray. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull that through all three. Now, because this is a color change, you don't want to yank this down so tight that you cinch it all up. You want to leave it some height. So you're going to be a little ginger here, but you are going to kind of tug that old color down. 
So you're going to be a little ginger, leave this open, turn your work, and then I'm going to chain one. In this very first stitch here, I'm going to do a half double crochet. And now we begin the row in earnest. We're going to skip our next stitch, which is the double crochet from the last row. We're going to go into the single crochet, into the next stitch. We're going to do our single crochet and our double crochet. Skip the double, go into the single, so skip one stitch, into the next, single crochet, double crochet. So there you go. Super easy. I think the texture and the look of this is very pretty. I'm excited. I can't wait to finish it up so I can get it donated out. And like I said, okay, so when you do it this way, if you do the two rows of each color, you don't have to cut your yarn. You can carry it up with a float. You are going to have these floats visible, so you can see my floats. That is where the border is going to hide all that. I'm going to catch the floats as I make the border. Because what I'll do for the border, I'll go around the whole blanket, probably in single crochet, just to pick up all my stitches for the border. And then after that, I'll I'll probably work a shell stitch and in picking up all the stitches for my single crochet around I'm going to disguise all of those floats they're going to be hidden so that won't be seen and then you don't have any floats on this side because you're not carrying the yarn up you're just working normal is that coming in on itself no, I don't think so. I think we're good. Okay. We always question ourselves, don't we? <laughs> okay. So let me know if that made sense. Let me know if you have any questions or anything about that stitch. I'm happy to help. Like I said, I didn't make this up. I don't know who... Kim mentioned she had seen a video and she kind of went off of that. So... I don't know. Certainly the Suzette stitch is a classic, classic crochet stitch that has been around for probably hundreds of years. <laughs> so I don't know where it started. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, Lit Knits, for asking. And I hope that answered your question. I will see you later. How on earth did I go 19 minutes talking about that? Oh, well. <laughs>